Welcome to this third video regarding the insert menu. That will be video number five for the Getting Started series. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the insert menu to insert plots, areas, separators, text, and how to do region protection. For that purpose, we are going to utilize this document, this HMAS Studio document that we're going to increase in size, and we're going to open up this area. A two-dimensional or three-dimensional plot. We're going to go out here. In order to define a two-dimensional plot, we need to have like a function. And so we're going to define a function f of x, space bar, um, column, and let's say the exponential minus x squared. Okay. And also to define a three-dimensional plot, I'm going to do a g of x comma y, space bar. Um, column equals say something like x plus plus y. Sorry, x plus y. All right. So down here, I'm going to insert the two-dimensional plot. You just go and say insert plot 2D. And then in the placeholder here, um, to the left uh, uh, left lower corner, you're going to type f of x. The way that these are designed, you do have to use x always, even if you have defined a function with a different variable. And then it gives you the default version of the function. Now, um, you got to realize that um, this type of graphics is prim primitive, and so in order to change the axis, the range of values in the axis, you have to use your mouse. If you click on the graph, and hold the left mouse button and you drag, it will drag the axis around. It's going to drag them down because this graphic is possibly positive. Now, I want to increase my uh, resolution in the x, side, x axis. Sorry. So what you do, you click over the graph, hold down the shift key, and then use the mouse button, uh, sorry, the mouse wheel, and if you push it forward, it will spread out the axis, if you push it backward, it will narrow it. So let's, let's go forward and uh, spread it out like that. Then release the shift key and do the control key and then push it forward and you can see that it expanded the vertical and then the graphic looks more like what you were expecting. For a two, three dimensional graphic, you're going to click in here and say insert plot 3D. And then in the placeholder in the lower left corner, we're going to type g of x, y. And then it produces that plane. If you click on it and hold down the left mouse key, you can change the orientation of the axis. I got to tell you that the graphics in SMA Studio are relatively primitive, and they don't, they don't provide a whole lot of um, um, options as, as other software. But for many purposes, they will be fine, and, and I will show you other examples of that. That's for inserting a uh, two-dimensional uh, two dimensional plot. To insert a collapsible area, this is useful when you want to put some information in a box that you want to collapse and not see it all the time. What you do is you click where you want to insert the box, do insert and do area. And so first, you get a cursor here where you going to put a, a particular name to this area. So let's let's call it, let, let's say this, we're going to call this area the uh, Gaussian distribution. Okay. Now you get a small space in between the top line and the bottom line. That's the, the extent of your area. If you want to increase it, what you do is you click inside and start pressing the enter key. And let's say we do, do a double click. I'm sorry. We click in here, do a double quote, and say this function defines the Gaussian distribution. And then down below we type f of x space bar column um, 1 over sqrt parenthesis 2 times p control g space bar, space bar, space bar times exponential of minus x square 
let me do it, x square space bar over 2. Okay? So I define the function. And then that area can be collapsed. I can just click in here, and the information is contained in there, but it's not visible. And so if I insert a graph here and say insert plot 2D, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a change here. I'm gonna go here and click, and I'm gonna change the name of this function from f to r. Not only that, but I'm going to change the name of this func this variable to t, and this variable also t. And then we we'll close here, and then I call it r. I'm gonna call it r of t. If you type r of t, it won't work. For some reason, when you insert a 2D plot, this uh, variable has to always be X. And that produces something similar to what we had before. Click in there, drag down, hold the shift key, push forward, hold the control key, push your uh, your mouse wheel forward. Sorry. I am I'm expanding, the, as you can see here, expanded to 225. Let's move back to 100 and then add 25% to it. So I'm going to click inside, hold the control key, and I, for some reason I seem to be expanding both my my worksheet size as well as the size of the vertical axis in here. But you can see how the Gaussian distribution that I define in this enclosed area and this collapsible area, it's available for me to use below. And so that's uh, the, the area. Then the separator line, oh, the separator line, uh, let me go over here, is to separate a page. And so it terminates the page wherever. I'm just going to put something here like uh, using a separator line. That's a text box. I click below the box and I go insert separator. And as you can see, the page ends right there, and then anything that I type below is going to go into another page. So what the separate line, line here is just ends a page abruptly. Uh, that's the use of that in the separate line. And what, what else do we have? The text box. We know how to do that. And the text box, box sorry. If we go down here, press enter, 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 enter. And I'm going to click up here and say insert separator box. I'm sorry, no, no. no. Let's do Control Z to to undo. Uh, and we're going to do um, text region. A text region simply is something that you type text. The simplest way to do it is just click in there, do a double quote, and start typing. And that's a a, a uh, that it's a, a text region. Now, the last thing I want to present is an example of region protection. Region protection is number 13. And we will, what you want to do is you have a region like this Gaussian distribution. And so if we select that region and then go to insert, no, actually, let's just select this one at the top, insert region protection, lock, it actually put a password, and let's say the password is going to be Blah, blah, blah. Repeat the the password to verify. Blah, blah, blah. Accept. The region is locked. I cannot open it up. And so that could be useful if you have a secret a formula you want to use. And the only way to unlock it is if you select it, you go to insert. So actually, no, just click on it. Insert region protection and say unlock. And then it's going to ask.